hello everyone hope you all are doing well in this video we'll discuss the last problem of a lead code bi weekly contest 87 it's a hard level problem uh, the problem name is minimum money required before transactions so the problem statement says that you are given a zero indexed 2d integer array transactions where transactions of i equals to cost of i comma cashback of i so the array describes transactions where each transaction must be completed exactly once in some order at any given moment, you have a certain amount of money. In order to complete the transaction I, money needs to be greater than or equal to cost of I. right? And after performing that particular transaction, your money becomes equal to money minus cost of I plus cashback of I. So return the minimum amount of money required before any transaction so that all of the transactions can be completed regardless of the order of the transactions. right? So I'll explain you uh, in detail, but this line is very important, the last one. So it says that you need to find the minimum amount of money required so that all the transactions are complete and the order of the transactions doesn't matter. That means in worst case, however you, however you arrange the uh, transactions, in whichever order you arrange the transactions, you should have sufficient amount of money to complete all the transactions like don't consider the best case rather consider the worst case right so this is what the problem is saying uh, let's jump into the some explanation some some part of thing so it says you have some transactions right you have some transactions it's a 2d array uh, let me say it is something like 2 comma 1 we have 5 comma 0 i'm take i'm picking up the first example itself and 4 comma 2 it, this is what it's saying so it says that suppose initially you have x amount of money so if you perform this transaction what will happen your new the, the new amount that you will have will be x minus 2 plus 1 so this the first element in the uh, in each of the array represents the cost of that transaction and the second element represents the cashback so it becomes x minus 1 what about this one uh, so you do it becomes x minus 1 minus 5 plus 0 so it becomes x minus 6 and for this it will be x minus 6 minus 4 plus 2 this is what you lose this is what you gain and finally obviously you get x minus 8 so this is what the problem is saying now this is one of the orders that we took there could there there can be a possibility so that we rearrange these transactions so that uh, uh, we, we need more money right we need more money uh, so this is this is what the problem is saying now let's divide our problem into two parts one will be one will be where we incur loss and where we incur profit what do we mean by, we mean by loss so a transaction will will uh, result in loss when cost is greater than cashback for that particular transaction right and this is the other way around cost is less than or equal to cashback right so if we consider the worst case then there are there are multiple things to consider let's first consider the worst case so briefly I, in worst case what i'll do i'll perform all the transactions with are, which are giving me negative value first right like in whichever transactions i am incurring a loss i'll perform all those transactions first right so what is the amount of money i will need to perform those transactions so that will be that will be so, so for the i transactions for the IA transaction, I will be needing cost of I minus cashback of I. This is the amount of money net net that I will be I will be needing for the IA transactions. I am talking this about the transactions in which I am having loss, right? Because I spend X and I get Y. So net amount I need this much, right? So what I can do, I can calculate all these values and sum it up, right? So my sum becomes equals to summation of X minus Y and this is for all the lo losses that I'm having and this is basically cost of I and this is cashback of I right this is one of the things now just consider one thing suppose you had these transactions which were giving you losses right which were giving you losses so if I take the last transaction which was giving you loss right this is the last transaction so just think for uh, just think that if the cost that was needed for this transaction was co uh, let's assume cost one and the cashback that you were getting was cashback one then just see you are getting the cashback only after you are able to complete that particular transactions right only after you are able to complete that transaction so that means 
whatever this value is whatever this value is i need at least this amount of money to fulfill the transaction right to fulfill this transaction so what i can do again let's talk about the worst case for the, all the losses that we are having so i have summed up all the differences now the transaction all the, among all the transaction in which i am having the loss the transaction having the maximum cash back can take place at the last can take place at the last so that means this is the extra this is this is an extra amount of money that i will be needing right because to perform this transaction once i perform this transaction then only i get this money right so in beforehand i need this money beforehand i need this money cash back of one right so that means whatever sum i have got let's call it s1 in the first phase first phase was calculating the difference for all the lost transactions plus consider a value we are not adding something considering a value of maximum cash back that we can get max cash back why because the the transaction having the maximum cash back if that happens at the last then that is the extra amount of money i'll be needing right so this is one of the one of the major phases of the problem what about the second phase second phase is i have encountered all the i have encountered all the uh, transactions in which i was having loss this is done only i need to see what are the transactions having profit so suppose these are the transactions in which i am having profit right some transactions now just consider among all these transactions i am having profit right but just consider if there is a transaction which has the maximum cost which has the maximum cost cost so that is an amount of money that i'll be needing up front right because this is the maximum cost we are considering the uh, worst case worst case will be you need the maximum amount of money up front only so if the transaction which is among all the transactions which is giving me profit if the transaction which is give, which has the maximum cost if that is happening at the first position obviously after the lost transactions are complete so i will be needing this money as well let's call it cost 1 or cost 2 right so what are the things to consider s1 plus two things to consider max cash back now these th this is for the transactions uh, in which i am incurring loss and max cost so this is for the transactions where i am getting profit right i hope you have understood max cost because if 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 the transaction which are giving me profit if the max cost transaction happens for the uh, at the first place then i need a front this amount of money and for the transactions which are giving me loss cash back is required because max cash back is required because suppose these are the lost transactions so the last transaction which has the maximum cash back suppose i perform it at last so i will get the cash back only after the transaction is complete not to complete the transaction i will be needing some cost right and i have already added the cash back i have already added the cash back in my equation so i need to uh, take care of this cash back that is why i need the maximum cash back and i need the maximum cost right this is for the profit case and this is for the loss case so finally what you do you do s1 plus max of cash back you get a value uh, you get the max cash back value from the loss transactions and you get the max cost value from the profits right you don't need to add both of the things you can add the maximum value only because um once so suppose this needs 8 8 amount of money and this needs 10 so obviously you will not be adding 8 and 10 right you will be adding the max of these two so that will be 10 so s1 plus 10 because this 10 will be capable of handling this as well because after you complete this 10 you will be getting a cash back which can be adjusted here right so uh, that is why so yeah this is the uh, this is the main logic uh, add all the sorry add all the differences uh, add all the differences because you need that amount up front and take the max of the cash backs cash backs is for the transaction which are giving me loss maximum cost uh, from all the transaction which are giving me profit right so let's jump onto the code i think understanding the logic was the main thing here uh, let me just fetch the latest code yeah this is the code uh, so yeah we can on line number 3 i have certain variables spend cash back and cost i am traversing the um, transactions and on line number 5 you can see if t of 0 like if the cost is greater greater than the cash back then that means this is giving me a loss so how much will i spend 
I will I will increment by spend by T zero minus T one. That is the extra amount of money that the diff amount of money that I need. Also, I will update my cash back. So I need to take the maximum cash back for all the lost transactions. Cash back equals to math dot max of cash back, uh, comma current cash back, right? So on line number seven, I am updating. Else, if this is a profit transaction, so I need the maximum cost, right? So cost equals to math math dot max of cost and the current cost, right? On line number nine, once I traverse all the transaction so at last what i do i return spent plus math dot max of the maximum cash back that i want or the maximum cost i want i return the maximum of these two values so this will be my final answer um, i hope you got a better feel of this problem uh, yesterday's solution was not up to the mark because the explanation uh, that was not too much detailed so that is why i thought i'll upload a new video having more detailed application the explanation right so yeah if you if you if you still have any queries do mention that in the comments if you find this video useful uh, please do like it do support the channel by subscribing to this channel um, and yeah uh, if you if you want to connect with me you can connect with me over linkedin the link is mentioned in the comments i'll more than happy to connect with you take care bye bye